Hi everyone, tonight's video is on the Golgi apparatus, which is also sometimes called the Golgi body, or sometimes simply just the Golgi. Any of those terms are appropriate. The Golgi apparatus, it's a series of membrane sacs found in the cytoplasm, and it's pictured here. It kind of looks like a stack of pancakes found in the cytoplasm. The function of the Golgi is to modify proteins that are destined for either secretion outside the cell, insertion into the cell membrane, or to be placed into an organelle called a lysosome, which is going to be the subject of a future video. As you recall, these proteins will have been made in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, and they're moved to the Golgi apparatus to be further modified for their final destination. So let's look a little bit at that process. Um, what part of these proteins is going to get modified? So again, these proteins were made in the RER, and if you recall, in the RER, sugar units were added to the ends of the proteins and therefore it became a glycoprotein. These sugar units, once they get to the Golgi apparatus, are either lengthened or shortened or other functional groups could be added. They could be phosphorylated or they could have a methyl group added. In some way, those sugar groups on the protein that were originally made in the RER are modified in the Golgi. If we look at a picture here of the cytoplasm of a cell, you can see the nucleus and the RER. Proteins that are made in the RER are put into what's called a transport vesicle to transport them to the Golgi. Transport vesicles will also be covered in a future video. Once these proteins, which are of course glycoproteins, reach the Golgi, they reach what's termed the cis face of the Golgi. So the Golgi does have sides. They are put into the lumen or the center of the Golgi where there are numerous enzymes that can either shorten or lengthen or just modify these sugar units inside the Golgi. So the glycoprotein is going to make a journey through the different parts of the Golgi apparatus until it reaches the final pancake stack or the final cisternae of the Golgi apparatus. At this point, the sugars would have been differentially modified. They're modified differently depending on the final destination of the protein. So in this way, you can think of the Golgi apparatus as a shipping and sorting center. Think of it as FedEx or the post office. The different modifications of the sugar units tell the cell where this protein is going to go. And this protein could go and be inserted into the membrane. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted that to be a highlighter. Let's see if we can change that. I'll just underline it. Or it could be secreted from the cell, or these proteins could be placed into an organelle called a lysosome, which we will talk about in the future. So in this way, I want you to think of the Golgi apparatus as the shipping center and the sorting center. It modifies the proteins that were made in the RER, it's modifying the sugar units on the ends of these proteins, and it's modifying them differently depending on where they are going to go in the cell. So thanks for listening. You should have all of this in your notes and in your organizer for your organelles.